Hello all, welcome to my channel and this is FantaBH, that's my nickname. Sorry for no videos for a longer period than 3 months, reasons for that are my personal, so I will keep them for myself. Here new video, such video is seen so many times on YouTube, but uh, I wanna say something more about it teach you something more about it and provide you with something no one else did when uh, they released this kind of video. I mean they did release the full code for Arduino for uh, this kind of project but uh, always it was uh, some kind of requirement like donation like uh, some kind of support from you to get uh, uh, full code. I am very disappointed uh, with uh, few big YouTubers that uh, beside what they getting uh, from YouTube for their videos, they ask for more. They they are so greedy and so so even even. All I can do in such cases is unsubscribe from them and never watch them again. This what you see on the screen is just uh, how I preparing my LCD to connect it to Arduino with uh, some longer cables so I can place LCD in at some kind of front panel of device I building. And no, note that I will try to keep this video as short as possible so I will not show all building process. I will just show what I build it, how I build it and how it works. And it's always good to fix wires so that it does not broke when you try to move device and whatever you're doing. My experience from such tiny wires is uh, they always broke when you don't need that. The whole process is uh, quite long. This uh, soldiering Arduino to the board. Maybe not so smart thing to do it, but uh, maybe I could use uh, some kind of uh, slot. This is trimmer for uh, regulating uh, background light on LCD and as well there is one uh, small resistor already on the board. So let's jump uh, to the what I actually built and how it works. As well at the end we'll show full code for this device. And as always you can download uh, everything you need to build same device uh, from my google drive if you don't trust me don't download file final device lcd in front and now you can see why i fixed all wires around there are two buttons for increase temperature and decrease ntc thermistor 100 kilo ohms solid state relay arduino is down there as you can see uh, there is a board uh, i built uh, like uh, 9 volt for uh, supplying uh, 9 volt stabilization to supply to arduino very important because at back uh, you, you can see uh, power supply taken from some old uh, charger or something like that which uh, giving 12 volts so I didn't want it to, to supply 12 volts to Arduino so needed to build uh, small stabilization by using uh, 7 by using 9 volt stabilizer here is a heat plate and final proizvod and test will come right now. As you can see here is uh, my final proizvod. Not so beautiful but it functions very well. Uh, main 
reason why I wanted to build this is uh, death soldiering things from some older board and I power it up you I don't uh, know if you can see or not uh, but temperature at the moment is 240 degrees you see it's smoking and you see it's working very well why 240 degrees uh, simple reason these uh, boards I using to the soldier right now are taken from all the uh, lighting bulbs and the uh, problem with them uh, they are from aluminium and aluminium uh, absorbing a lot of heat so for easing easy the soldiering it's uh, better to use uh, a bit higher temperature uh, temperature regulation I have it I can set uh, temperature uh, whatever I want for in steps by five you will see later in code uh, but uh, to be honest if you're going to use this uh, heat board only for the soldiering things you do not need to build uh, all things uh, about arduino solid state relay and everything like that uh, you don't need uh, temperature control at all because uh, maximum temperature this heat plate uh, can reach is uh, like 260 or 270 degrees not higher than that and uh, you can use it like that for uh, the soldiering another thing why i use it these uh, screws to bring it up heat uh, heat plate it's because it heats uh, all things around a lot so this is safe way here you can see red markings to show you that uh, indeed I grounded heat plate just for safety and here some nice idea how I attached the NTC to the heat plate as you can see and I think it's time now to jump to the code and explain code a little and this is a full code I using for the heat plate you seen just before it's uh, maybe you will think it's a bit complicated but uh, at least i can guarantee it's uh, very precise uh, i use the steinheil method of calculating uh, temperature for uh, ntc for uh, and uh, for uh, this method you need some constants like it's uh, pull up resistance like uh, is uh, nominal resistance of uh, your NTC you're using and uh, beta value of thermistor you're using these informations are uh, I got uh, these informations from the seller on Aliexpress where I purchased this thermistor so I advise you to not buy any thermistor which uh, does not uh, these uh, values in description of it but as well if you if you have some thermistor you don't know uh, these uh, values you can use default like uh, 100k is default and uh, it stays for my uh, here you can use this one for 100k ntc and uh, this pull up resistance just measure it with uh, universal instruments i did that uh, it's 10k in my case but exact resistance is as you can see next uh, you need to declare all or pi all pins where uh, you uh, where is uh, your buttons for a uh, temperature up your uh, button for a uh, temperature down your pin for solid state relay 
and this is constant in my case I told you uh, before I can uh, regulate temperature by in steps by five and this is where you declare uh, each pressing of uh, button will increase or, or decrease temperature for uh, value you in insert this here this is target temperature, I mean uh, this is temperature uh, default temperature set default temperature which is set uh, when you power on device. Other than that, just watch the code and you will get idea what it do and when it do and how it do it. Full code you can download the link will be below and you can download it. I will upload it to my Google Drive. It will be dot uh, ino file. So that file actually uh, cannot harm your computer. Whatever it is, you don't need to double click it. You need to import it to Arduino ID software other than this uh, I don't have full schematic of device I built so there will be no schematic how I connected everything and so but if you have any experience in electronic you can take all pins all connections from code like here is LCD pins uh, which uh, actually going to the Arduino pin 2 pin 3 pin 4 pin 5 pin 6 pin 7 it's Arduino Nano use it in my case thermistor is uh, on pin A0 now pin digital pin 8 digital pin 9 are buttons up and down solid state really uh, Relay is controlled by pin 10. Very easy to connect everything uh, properly according to the code. Maybe, um, maybe I will build schematic and upload it at some time later, but uh, not uh, at the moment when video be released. That would be all about this, thank you for watching, subscribe and there will be more videos very soon, till then, bye bye.